This video is part of our tutorial series for the SIG300. I'm Jazz, an AI avatar, and I will guide you through this tutorial. In this part of the SIG300 integration tutorial, I will show you how to handle the IO link service data, known as ISDUs. The service data is on-demand data that is actively requested from the IO link master. It is accessible via the Profinet service data channel. To enable service data access during runtime, a corresponding device-specific function block is available in the global library provided by the function block factory. The function block can be called by inserting it into the user program main via drag and drop. In the upcoming dialog, we need to define a name for the instance data block. The next step is to assign the function block instance to an SIG300 master port. We need to use the hardware identifier of the SIG300 Profinet submodule as the ID parameter. This hardware identifier provides the process data of the corresponding IO link port. The identifier is a number generated by the TIA portal, which can be found under the system constants in the hardware device view. The client access point, CAP, is a fixed Profinet index, which offers access to the IO link service data of the connected device. Since the SIG300 is based on the Profinet Integration Standard Edition 2, the value for the CAP parameter is fixed, B400 hexadecimal. The port parameter specifies which master port the IO link device is connected to, starting with 1. If no IO link data is available in the specified timeout time, an error is displayed on the function block output. In this case, we will use the default timeout of 5 seconds. The device data parameter defines how to handle the IO link device data by the function block. As in the case of the process data function, we also create the required variable in a separate data block. The data type of the variable is part of the global library. Compile the program. Now, the variable can be assigned to the function block call. Transfer the program to the PLC. We use a watch table in order to use the function block. We copy the required input and output variables from the instance data block and transfer them to the watch table. We do the same with the service data structure, where we copy the selection bits. Furthermore, we copy the parameter data.
Now, click on Monitor All. In the following example, we read out some identification data from the IO Link device. First, we need to specify which parameters are to be read out in the selection substructure. Now we can trigger the function block with a rising edge at the rec input. Make sure that the RW flag is set to false, which means ISDU read. The function block indicates that the process has been executed successfully with the status done equals true. The data of the ISDU's readout is now available in the device data variable as structured and interpreted data ready for further processing. The handling of the function block is fully described in the enclosed description provided from the SICK function block factory. Now you have learned how to handle IO-Link service data, ISDUs, by integrating a device-specific function block into your PLC application, configuring it, and monitoring the interpreted data. If you are interested in learning more about the SIG300, please refer to our further tutorials. Thanks for watching.